Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to make this video for you real quick to show you how to remove the tag session on your collection page. So right now I'm already logged into the back office of my Shopify store. Uh, what you're going to do is go to themes, then you're going to go to actions, and you're going to edit HTML CSS. <clears throat> Once you click on that, it's going to take you to this page and the template that you need to go into is called collection.liquid and the uh, code on that page should look something like this. Um, this section right here might be a little bit different because I've already implemented the code into my theme. Uh, so let me uh, take you over here to my blog. Um, so if you're doing this for the first time, you should see something that looks like this um, in place of the code that I have here. So again, I'll go back to it. It should look something like this. If settings.collections tab, tags underscore enable, include collection tags and if. So if you don't know any coding, basically what this is saying is that if the collection tags are enabled, include the, t the collection tab tags and then end it if. <clears throat> so what you wanna replace that with is this new code right here. So this is unless collection.handle equals all, if settings.collection underscore tags underscore enable, include collection tags and if and unless. So basically what this code is saying is that um, on the collections all page, you're not gonna display any of the tags. However, if you go into any of the individual collections, like if you have like a collection that's for electronics or gifts for him, gifts for her, uh, pets, dogs, it's still gonna display the tags on those collections, but whenever somebody goes to the collections all page, it's not gonna display those tags and it's gonna get rid of that white annoying space that's on the left hand side that's just blank. <clears throat> so if you want it to not be displayed on any of the collection page, whether it be the collections all page or the individual collections page, you're basically just gonna put comment tags around the code of text like it's displayed here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make this code um, a comment instead of an actual um, actionable code that the, uh, uh, the page is gonna display. So it's gonna turn that into a comment. So it's gonna uh, disable that tag session or tag section on all of your collection pages, whether it be the collections all or the individual collection pages that you may have. I hope you know you found some value in this video and in this post. If you did, please comment down below. Let me know if it worked or did not work for you. Um, that way, you know, depending upon your theme, some themes have things differently. Um, so if it didn't work for you, just comment down below. Let me know what uh, theme it is that you're using because this particular line of code may be in a completely different area. And I'll show you real quickly uh, another area that that line of code can be in. Um, but again, if you have any problems, just comment below um, in the comment section and let me know what theme you're using and what sort of problems that you're having. So if you didn't find the code in this collection.liquid, uh, another place that it could be in is the collection.list.liquid. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And on this uh, particular uh, template, it may be somewhere between line seven and 18, somewhere in this area. So again, if you didn't find it in the collection.liquid, check in collection.list.liquid. I hope you found value in this. Again, please share this with anybody. If you know somebody else who has a Shopify store that may be having problems and does not want the tags to show up on the left-hand side, go ahead and share this with them. And if you found value in this, please comment down below. Thanks.